So it was a weeknight. I remember it was a weeknight. I just got home from work and spent a couple hours just hiding out in my room and I just couldn't stay in the house any longer. So I got in the car. My husband asked where I was going and I didn't answer him. I just got in the car and went driving around. I actually, a certain song came on the radio. I was listening to K-Love and got teary-eyed. So I pulled over to the water park that's by our house that of course 10 o'clock tonight is closed down nobody in the parking lot and turned the car off and just sat there and just literally had a meltdown just started crying talking to God telling him to please 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 make me fall out of love with my husband I don't want to be in love with him anymore I don't want to be married to him anymore to just please shut my feelings down and in that very moment is, I think, the very first time in my entire life that I actually felt, I'm going to get teary-eyed, that I actually felt God had his arms around me and said, you're going to be okay. You're going to be fine. So I collected myself. I went back home and went to sleep that night. So the next couple days, me and my husband were talking about getting a divorce. And the reason why we were talking about this was because he had an affair. And it was something that I just couldn't deal with anymore. And I asked him if he wanted to stay married and he, he said no. He said he didn't feel like he was happy anymore. And after that moment that I had with God in the um, water park parking lot I was actually okay with it for the first time in my life okay with not being married anymore not spending the rest of my life with someone I thought I was supposed to spend the rest of my life with so we actually started talking about what we were going to do with belongings in the house and I was starting to look for my own home and just trying to deal with all of that I was meeting with my pastor weeks before this even happened we were going to try to make a marriage work and I went back to my pastor the next day because I was having difficulties dealing with with everything that was going on and he said the smartest thing in the world to me he says do you want to save this marriage and I said yes he goes well then you have to go home by yourself and you actually have to say out loud I forgive you and I'm thinking, how in the world can I forgive this man for doing this to me? He's supposed to be my husband, my protector. How, how can I forgive him? So I went home. And actually, before I got home, I found myself in a Burger King parking lot. My husband had actually called me and said, can you come home? We need to talk. I had just got done talking to the pastor. I came home. I'm like this you know, obviously isn't going to be good. Here I am wanting to save my marriage, and he's probably saying, you know, he's going to leave until we settle things with the house. I actually got upstairs, went and talked to him, and he broke down crying and said that he was sorry and that he broke it off with the girl he was seeing and basically said he wanted to, he would do anything, anything I asked of him to make the marriage work. And so at that moment, I told him what the pastor had told me to say. I said, I forgive you. I totally forgive you. And when I actually said those words, because I didn't think I forgave him, but I was told by the pastor I needed to do that. So as I actually said those words, I actually felt again, like God was like hugging me. And I felt like this overwhelming sensation of, you're gonna be okay. Your marriage is gonna be okay. So from that moment on, we actually agreed that we would never talk about it again. Um, we agreed that we were going to go to marriage counseling. But my whole story behind this is that I grew up my whole entire life thinking that I had God close to me. I have him in my life. He's in my life every day. He's close to me. But I think that moment when I was at the car wa or the, the um, water park, that was the first time in my life that I actually felt like I did have him in my life. And he was actually by my side. I knew everything would be okay. And 
from that moment on, I think mine and my husband's marriage has never been better. I still talk to God every day. And in my eyes, it's almost like, you know, he did grant me that wish. He did shut down my feelings and make me okay with the divorce and make me fall out of love with him because it woke up my husband's eyes and realized he didn't want me to leave. Every day on the way to work, I start my day talking out to God. Every day when I'm struggling through something at work, I thank God and I actually feel like this is the first time in my life, even being raised as a Christian, that I actually have a relationship with him.